gusto ko talaga ng super white. Dahil na sa peer pressure. You can have it once a week. So if you want to achieve your weight gaining effect, I'm 20 years old. Ako. Gusto, gusto ko po talagang pumuti. Gusto ko talaga ng super white dahil na sa peer pressure na yung mga kasamaan ko talagang they have fair skin and good skin, clear skin. I've decided na mag-try ng mga beauty products which is um, whitening. To be honest, iba yung na-add na self-confidence sa akin pagka nakinis ako or maputi ako. Mas ready akong humarap sa tao. Parang mas presentable po ako tignan. In the Philippines, at least half of the population use skin lighteners. Products that promise to lighten one's skin tone. That's one of the highest rates of use in Asia. Skin whitening is huge in the Philippines. Over the past 10 years, there has been a surge. Cuts across all strata for uh, job opportunities, for the pleasure of seeing one's beauty in be improved. The global skin lightening industry is worth 8.3 billion US dollars in 2018. And more than half of the revenues come from Asia Pacific, including the Philippines. Ma suggest ko is mag start ka sa outside which is the physical. This is Lavin's daily routine. Ito yung bleaching cream na ginagamit ko sa katawan ko and ang ganda nito kasi talagang nakaka-whiten siya ng skin ko. Meron siyang instant whitening effect. etong skin toner ko, ito yung pinaka-cleanser ko sa face na may whitening effect din siya. And then meron din akong um, bleaching toner which is itong bleaching toner na to is nakakaputi siya and nakaka-peel siya ng face. I also have uh, mga exfoliating creams. Pagkapahit ko na exfoliating cream, 15 minutes after, nilalagay ko itong um, rejuvenating cream ko. So, ito yung pinaka-whitening cream ko. And, ayun, ayun yung ginagamit ko every night. 30% of my salary goes to my um, skin whitening. I'm happy to see results in my self. She was happy until five years ago. Lavin decided that using external products just were not good enough. She wanted a faster, more effective way to lighten her brown skin. Her solution, an oral supplement called glutathione. Glutathione, or gluta for short, is a molecule that inhibits the production of melanin, the hormone that gives the eyes, hair and skin their color. It is actually produced naturally in the human liver and is an important antioxidant. It also aids in metabolism. Lab-made glutathione is meant as a supplement for patients suffering from liver damage. But patients who took it found an unexpected side effect. Lighter skin. So itong glutathione pills ito, tinitake ko to twice a day. So kaya favorite ko to kasi iba talaga yung glow na nabibigay niya sa akin. Lavin is not alone in her quest for white. Many Filipinos go to extreme lengths to lighten their skin tone. It's an obsession that's deeply entrenched. Itong book na to, sure dito ng katutubong Filipino eh. Halimbawa, this one, ito yung totoong kulay ng mga Filipino uh, during that time, no? Actually, hindi naman siya black talaga, no? Morena. 500 years ago, Spain colonized the Philippines. The colonizers brought in statues of Catholic saints to help institute a new religion. One of the most venerated statues was Mother Mary. Maputi, mahaba ang buhok, maliit ang bibig, maganda ang mata. Doon natin ibinatay yung konsepto natin ng kagandahan at pag pala ganito ang itsura mo, sasambahin ka. Pag maputi ka, maganda ka, napapansin ka, hinahangaan ka. Pag gusto mo hangaan, eh kasi 300 years tayong slave, hindi tayo napapansin. KSP, kulang sa pansin. 
After 300 years, Spain relinquished its sovereignty over the Philippines to the Americans. Native Filipinos were no longer considered as slaves. Along with their newfound freedom was a desire to present themselves in a new way. Gayahin natin ang larawa ng mga maunlad na mamamayan sa mundo at isa na rito yung Amerikano. So kasama na dyan yung pagpapaputi. Nagkaroon ng pakikipag-asawahan or intermarriage para magbago ang iyong kulay. Para merong tinatawag na improvement ng race. Now, 500 years after colonization, the belief that a fairer skin is tied to socioeconomic superiority carries on and the demand for skin lighteners is insatiable. Being brown is associated with dirt, with uh, poverty, with a lack of hygiene even. And when you tell people that, when you tell a, a whole populace that on a daily basis, it gets to their skin, it, get, it, it, it gets to them. Uh, it gets into their psyche, and so they start hating themselves. Today, everywhere you turn, Filipinos are encouraged to whiten. The experience of the Komantao is that they are inundated by messaging everywhere that fair skin is better, that lighter skin is better. People here in the Philippines where poverty levels are very high, and they just want to have a good life. They want to have opportunities to have a better life. And while they're not getting those opportunities, they think that being light-skinned would make them seem rich, educated, and so then they think that it would be easier to get into the upper echelons of, of society or get into uh, better opportunities. Help suppress excessive melanin production. Is your body supposed to have a quota when it comes to the amount of melanin that it produces? I don't know, fast whitening. Like, how, how, how fast is this supposed to whiten my skin? Uh, five minutes, two days, is my future going to be bright? Pat, go brown. Pat, pat, go brown, go brown. To challenge the prevailing belief that fair skin is better, comedian Chai Fanassier produced a parody on whitening soap advertisements there was one whitening ad where they, they made a little wordplay surrounding the concept of dirty. It was a whitening soap, so you want to take a shower and use that soap to not be dirty. Only Vax burns my skin. Who burns yours? It's strange to my mind to think about how some people are earning billions from mass insecurity. I think 1,500 per 60 capsules. So, sobrang yung nauso po yung mga glutathione pills, nag-research po ako muna bago ko siya itry na. Sabi ko, ano bang magiging effects? Ano bang magiging danger nito sa health ko? Pero parang nakita ko po na ang dami naman pong nagtatry. So, parang ang dami ko pong mga beauty clinics na nakikita ang nagtatry ng mga glutas. Sabi ko, why not try? Oral glutathione supplements was an accidental discovery and its claim as a skin lightener has yet to be proven effective, according to experts. But in the meantime, in a country that prizes lighter skin complexions, an even more dangerous trend is emerging. Before, we only had lotions, and then we had the soaps, but now we are subjecting our internal organs to dangers that we're not even educated about. Most Filipinos prize a fair skin tone, and for some of them, their go-to fix for their naturally brown skin. Glutathione oral supplements. They're massively popular, although it has not been medically proven effective. But Undercover Asia found out that another kind of whitening treatment is gaining popularity and controversy. Glutathione injectable treatments. Unlike other injectables like Botox or lip fillers that work just below the skin, these treatments involve injecting glutathione and vitamin C directly into the veins. 
The Philippines Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, is a government agency created to ensure that the food, medicine and cosmetics Filipinos use are safe. As early as 2011, the FDA noticed that glutathione injectables were being abused as a skin light. It immediately issued a public warning. The FDA warned that injectable glutathione could seriously damage the liver, nervous system, and the kidneys. So, yung mga uh, uh, adverse drug event, galing yan dun sa clinical study conducted, and the reports that we receive as well, coming from the patients who were given these products. As a matter of fact, no glutathione product, whether in the form of pills or injectables, has ever been approved for skin lightening. Not in the Philippines, nor anywhere else in the world. The Philippine Dermatological Society has documented 69 cases who suffered from adverse effects of glutathione. We have picked up more reports, although still on an informal basis, let's say, anecdotally, of the adverse reactions. Adverse reactions, whether it be a rash or all the way to, let's say, having anaphylactic shock. <laughs> Anaphylactic shock is wherein there's difficulty breathing. So it's something you bring to the emergency room because it, it is something that can cause mortality. The worst case documented is acute kidney failure in a woman who was infused with glutathione weekly for three years. The Philippine FDA regulated glutathione injectables as prescription-only drugs. This means they can only be used to mitigate the toxicity of chemotherapy, not for skin lightening treatments, and must only be bought from licensed pharmacies. The product does not make it illegal, but it's illegally used because it's used for a purpose other than the product which is registered with the FDA. So it's registered for this indication, but you're using it for another purpose. So from FDA's point of view, the product is being used illegally. But some dermatological clinics across the country are advertising glutathione skin lightening treatments on social media. We regulate the products, but we don't exercise jurisdiction over these derma clinics. Undercover Asia went to these clinics to verify if they are indeed offering these unapproved and potentially dangerous skin lightening treatments openly in broad daylight. Each treatment package costs nearly as much as the monthly minimum wage in Manila, with recommended doses barely lasting one and a half months. You can have it once a week. You want to achieve your the most well-established skin lightening clinics are also run by skin doctors who are popular on social media. Because they are medical professionals, they give glutathione skin lightening treatments the veneer of legitimacy, in spite of the health warning from FDA. Personality politics are very heavy here in the Philippines, so when a celebrity says something, it's automatically correct. It's automatically something that the person should aspire for. Whatever she says or whatever he does, it's totally acceptable. Okay, so how many legal cases are for mediation this week? 30 plus. 30 plus? The Board of Medicine, which regulates doctor's licenses, could impose sanctions if they are alerted to dermatologists offering glutathione injectable treatments. But again, that's only when they are alerted. There has to be a complaint and evidences against a specific professional, regardless of whether that professional is a doctor, a nurse, or a pharmacist. For any complaint, the burden of proof lies with the complainant. So if they do not complain, how can we establish the crime that happened? We will not have any evidences. But the possibility of filing complaints is highly unlikely. The FDA is struggling to make these dermatological clinics accountable. And the lack of enforcement enables many to cash in on the trend illegally. Um, it's 6.05 p.m. na po and I'm going to my last client po na home service today. 
Jail is a registered nurse who works at a government hospital. On weekends, she has a side hustle, a lucrative one. Hi, ma'am. Good evening. Hassle, pumunta, traffic. So, parang mas na ano po ng mga tao na why not sa bahay na lang. And then yung mga nurses, as IV therapist license naman din po kami, eh siguro po parang yun din po yung nakaano sa amin na why not gawin pong business, yung pag-home service po. Today's clients are cousins Nadine and Jeff, university students. And this is what they engage Nurse Jail to do. Ito po nasa 1,200 milligrams po yung glutathione content nito. Yung vitamin C po nasa 500 milligrams po siya. Mas mabilis po yung effect niya. So kung mas mataas po, mas mabilis pong mag-effect. This has been going on every week for a year. Tusok ka ko nadsa. Nga malalim. What Jail does is so prevalent in the Philippines, Filipinos have a nickname for folks like her. IV gluta nurses. These nurses usually get their customers by word of mouth or by offering their services on social media. But what Nurse Jail is doing is clearly illegal. The law says nurses like Jail can only administer injectable drugs under the supervision of a doctor. Yet Jail decided to be an IV gluta nurse because there is a huge market for her services. So I tried first yung five sessions and then I nakita ko na yung effect niya so tinuloy-tuloy ko na. Para sa sabi, uy, yung puti-puti mo, ganyan, ganyan, mukha kang koreana, ganyan. So nakakatawa na kung makakuha ng ganyan compliments. Do you think this is like 100% safe? Um, I haven't really uh, read about it. Pero if pinapractice siya naman ng mga trusted professionals. So I think it's, you know, it really has good effects for me. Okay na. Tusok ako, hai. Nga malalim. On good weekends, jail serves about 20 clients. That's at least 380 US dollars. Malalim. Okay, finish na. She earns more in one weekend than what an average nurse earns in an entire month. Nurse Jail has been flouting the law for two years. She gets away scot-free because none of her patients have filed a case against her. Wala naman pong clash between medical ethics and sa practice ko po. Kasi po, based on my experience po, um, safe naman po siya sa clients. Nakakatuwa kasi ang ganda po ng feedback sa akin ng mga clients ko. So, ako din po mismo sa sarili ko, nangarap din po ako ng mas malaki pa, mas lumawak pa po itong uh, pag i ko po ng glutathione po. So parang naisip ko po na why not magtayo din ng sarili kong glutas pa. Katulad din po nung mga nakikita kong mga kapwa ko nurses na nakakapagtayo sila ng spa, sarili nila. After hustling for two years as a gluta nurse, Nurse Jail started a nail salon and a glutathione skin lightening spa. This is her side business while she works at a government hospital. Oral glutathione is considered a nutritional supplement and so can be sold off the shelves. But glutathione injectables are approved only as a drug to protect cancer patients from the side effects of chemotherapy. It requires a prescription and must only be bought from licensed pharmacies. So how did Nurse Jail get her stock? 
So, yun yung mga inaalala namin sa ngayon eh. You can get it anywhere. And you're not sure whether the person administering it has the proper training, whether the products being administered are registered with us. The marketplace for unlicensed glutathione injectables is the World Wide Web. Undercover Asia did a simple search on the most famous e-commerce platforms and found a plethora of brands and vendors selling unlicensed glutathione injectable brands. What's more, IV glutanurses like Jail don't buy their supplies online. Most of them have their own network of suppliers who sell glutathione at so-called wholesale prices. Hi, good afternoon. Undercover Asia goes in search of these suppliers. In the Philippines, an injectable drug exclusively for cancer patients is being abused as a skin lightener, sometimes with deadly consequences. What's worse, the people administering it are skin doctors, as well as moonlighting nurses. Jail is a licensed nurse who offers glutathione injectable skin lightening treatments. The injectables she uses are not licensed with the Philippines Food and Drug Administration, which means these drugs are considered illegal. Hi, good afternoon. Undercover Asia wants to find out just how spas are getting hold of unlicensed glutathione injectables. We found a wholesale supplier on social media with a huge following of more than 100,000 followers. They also claim to be the pioneer in the glutathione market in the Philippines. Advertised on their Instagram were brand names that are not listed in the Food and Drug Administration's list of approved glutathione injectables. Uh. Undercover Asia put in an inquiry to buy glutathione injectables from them. Ito po yung mga best We were directed to meet up with the supplier at a location outside Manila. We went undercover to find out how the company is getting away with selling unlicensed glutathione injectables. Strangely, the meeting location was at a clothing store. But right at the back of the shop is a counter displaying a range of glutathione injectable drugs. They also sell these drugs along with a syringe and tourniquet or medical accessories that are needed for administering the drug. How come there are so many products in the market? I don't think we are in the position to answer because we don't know where these products are coming from or how they're going inside the country. These unlicensed glutathione injectables are presumably smuggled in. The Philippine Bureau of Customs looks after 17 ports across the country. Only five have x-ray machines. But their most troubling problem is corruption. Temptation is very high uh, in a revenue generating agency, although it's not as much as before, but th there are still, and uh, our operations are still uh, catching some employees of ours uh, engaging in, in bribery and uh, some other corrupt activities. This could be why there are even deadlier skin lightness flooding the market. Hello, 
Uh, paparating na ako. Oo. Uh, dyan, dyan sa same location. Uh, available ba yung mga products? Okay. O, oh, sige. sige. Uh, kita tayo. Since 2009, the Philippines Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, banned the sale of creams and lotions with more than one milligram per kilogram of mercury. But Tony Dizon, a chemical safety campaigner, believes most products on sale in the market today exceed that level. Kung hindi ito dumaan sa registration, eh smuggled. Kung smuggled product ito, uh, therefore, ano to, eh, hindi na nga dapat nga kailangan pang pag-usapan. Eh. Uh, kailangan talaga to immediately ikumpiska, kumpiskahin uh, dahil smuggled product nga siya. In fact, for almost a decade now, Tony has been lobbying for a total ban of mercury in all kinds of products, including skin lightness. Bagsakan talaga to. Siguro ang 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 talagang captured target market talaga nito ay yung mga mas marami, no? Yung mga kababayan natin na abot kaya lang yung budget. As far as skin lightening goes, mercury-laced creams are about 10 times cheaper than glutathione injectables. They promise faster results, but they are also deadlier. Undercover Asia visited more than 10 stores at this public market. We discovered that most of the stores continue to sell skin lightening creams that have already been banned by the FDA for unsafe levels of mercury. Yet these products are still being marketed openly and aggressively. <laughs> The seller then makes an offer. A wholesale price that's 18% cheaper than the listed price which makes these potentially dangerous products even more enticing for those in the lower income bracket. Mas maraming mga members ng society natin ang magiging affected. So sila sila yung pinaka ano sila yung pinaka affected. Tapos uh, lalo na kung yung awareness pa nila ay hindi ganoon kataas, naintindihan nila yung yung epekto ng mercury sa kanilang katawan ay talagang bibili at bibili sila nito mga produkto. In the Philippines, banned mercury-laced creams are being smuggled in and sold openly in public markets. <laughs> Some of these creams are sold in bulk at a low price to resellers. They in turn often market these products to their own informal network of friends and family. Years ago, Chloe's mother encouraged her to buy a famous skin lightening cream from Chloe's aunt, a cosmetics reseller. My family has a history of dark armpits. It's in our genetics. Doon ko sinerch, doon ko nakita yung Facebook marketplace, Facebook itself. Instant effect, magandang effect, mabilis ang effect, ganun. Nothing about the risks. I decided to use it um, twice a day, um, morning and before bedtime. Then after around the second and a half week, napansin ko, masakit siya, mahapde. Then a few days later, doon ho siya nag-start mamula, parang may sunburn ako. Masakit na masakit siya. Parang nasusunog talaga ako and kasi walang relief. Kahit lalagyan mo ng lamig, parang nagbabalik din siya. 
niya decided to look in the mirror, doon ko na-realize, hala, bakit ang dami kong scars? Bakit ako nag-stretch marks? Parang namamaga, namumula, uh, makate, yan yung ano, uh, first uh, uh, signs. Nagde-develop yan, lalo na kung hindi kagad mag magamot. The World Health Organization says mercury in skin lightness can cause kidney damage, skin discoloration, anxiety, depression, and damage to the brain nerves. Ang route of exposure natin is inhalation, ingestion, and dermal. So, imagine mo na lang, saan mo ba madalas ginagamit ba yung creams? Di ba? Mostly sa face. Mananatili na yan doon sa iyong katawan. At kahit anong uh, medications ang gawin mo ay hindi siya ganun kagad. Maales, unless uh, madedetermine kagad na may mercury exposure ka. But it was too late for Chloe. Now she faces a recurring health problem. Dipis ng ho yung balat ko dahil nagka-skin like infection. And then dinagyan ko po ng gamot, nag-heal po siya. But it's not totally healed. This is her current skin condition. It is always inflamed, and her usually dry pits have become always sweaty, making them vulnerable to fungal and bacterial infections. I approached two doctors. They said, hindi na talaga reversible. So, syempre, ang naramdaman ko, bumigat yung dibdib ko, na ay, hindi na pala ito ma-reverse. Nagtaka ako, paano ito nakapasok sa Pilipinas? The Philippines limits the use of mercury in cosmetics to one milligram per kilogram. Beyond that, it's considered toxic. But Tony Dizon believes that most of the products on the shelves exceed that limit. For the last decade, he has been helping authorities monitor the sale of such contraband items. Kung mapapansin ninyo, noticeable, halos parang bago yung packaging. Ibig sabihin, hindi ito luma, hindi ito stuck before, kundi talagang bagong gawa ito ng mga produkto. Um, yung iba pa na nabili natin, ito, um, yung binan ng FDA itong pero yung uh, nakakabigla, may bago na siyang packaging kagad. So ito, ire-report natin ito. Uh, uh, matapos natin malaman muna kung gaano kataas na mercury concentration nitong mga produkto na ito. This is what Tony does weekly. He goes to shops and buys blacklisted brands off the shelves and then tests them. Uh, ito yung uh, XRF ang tawag o yung X-ray fluorescent spectrometer, isang klase ng handheld device na kayang mag-detect ng iba't ibang klase ng mga heavy metals kasama na yung mercury. Oh, delikado, delikado lalong-lalo na dun sa sa ating mga balat. Meron itong 22,000 parts per million na mercury concentration. That's 22,000 times more than the limit. It is not only highly toxic, but possibly lethal. And it is not the only cream with unsafe levels of mercury. Product after product tested by Tony exceeded safe levels of mercury content by a huge margin. Meron siyang 1,754 parts per million na mercury. Inire-report natin mismo sa Food and Drug Administration, lalong-lalo na yung mga tindahan na nabilhan natin, na nagbebenta nitong mga pinagbabawal na ng mga produkto para magkaroon ng enforcement action o di kaya ay makumpis ka itong mga produkto na to at mapanagot mismo yung mga nagtitinda. Sa ngayon, hindi natin masabi kung gaano kadalas. Uh, ang mahalaga lang ay at least nai-report -re natin siya.
Chloe, who was permanently scarred by a banned mercury-laced cream, has now turned into an online vigilante against merchants peddling such products. She has found that some merchants have been disguising banned cosmetics using different brand names, and she's determined to expose their cover. Nagun na kung si Nurture yung DNA cream, mer meron hong mga lumabas, isa or tatlo, tulad nun. So, nireport ko po siya sa Lazada, customer support. Ay, sabi nila sa akin, they will look into it. So, syempre, pinabayaan ko. Nagun na few months later, naisip ko isearch ulit, ganun pa rin ang lumabas. Report ko, sabi nila, tinan nila ulit. Tinanong ko, report ko na to dati, bakit wala palang changes. This morning, nag-search ko ako ulit. Kung sakali, may first page pa lang po to, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, Lima, anim, pito, walo, siyam, sampo. Napakalami po nilang binibenta. Undercover Asia went to online marketplaces selling banned mercury-laced creams and unregistered glutathione injectables. Hello? We reported them to Facebook and Lazada. Both duly took down the accounts marketing the products. But like a cat and mouse game, a week after Facebook took down an Instagram account marketing illegal glutathione injectables, another near duplicate popped up in its place. It has a different name, but looks almost exactly like the account that has been deleted, with the same photos and contact details. Smuggling is just, it's, it's not just a battle of the Bureau of Customs. It's, it's, it's bigger than that. Uh, without people actually uh, patronizing smuggled goods, then there will be less motivation also to smuggle it. Hi guys, it's me Levine G and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'll share with you the gluten that I And that's it guys. Since 2012, Lavin has been taking glutathione oral supplements. I think you have to be patient. Wait one to two years to see the effect of glutathione. In search of faster ways to lighten her skin tone, Lavin literally took matters into her own hands, playing both doctor and nurse to her own body. The box of glutathione, I'll show you. It has... Normally, it is good for 10 sessions. You have the sterile water, which is this one. I'll show you also. And then we also have the gluta powder. This is it. So now, um, Hindi ka rin mahihirapan kasi sa isang box meron naman siyang mga instructions, yung tamang dosage, and yung mga ingredients niya. So, um, complete naman siya. Ano yung tamang dosage sa box? Um, according to this, nabasa ko siya before, it's um, one vial. Para sa start ka, it's one vial, one is to one. Imimix mo lang siya, and then yun ay, inject mo siya, plus the uh, vitamin C. And then, um, ako kasi, dinodouble dose ko siya before para mas mataas yung dosage, which is 1,200. Dahil immune na nga yung body ko sa 600 mg. So, nagdodouble dosage talaga ako. Lavin chooses not to hire gluten nurses to save on time and money. Wala na siyang buo-buo. Pwede ka na mag-inject. So, she does it on her own. Thrice a week, for three years. The danger is this. If Lavin injects on the wrong spot, she could be paralyzed. Kasi minsan, in the middle of injecting, na puputok yung beans. I kind of got addicted when I saw na it's working way faster than the glutathione pills itself. So when I tried to... How fast? Like... Siguro in a matter of six months. Hi guys, it's me Levine and I'm back for another vlog. And today's vlog is very, very interesting and scary. Because I'm going to show you how I self-inject my beauty. In 2019, Lavin vlogged about her self-injection procedure on YouTube. 
hindi ko akalain na maraming mag-hit siya ng 18,000 and tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung inquiries nila doon sa video ko. Lavin claims she has only influenced a few followers to self-inject. Most of them are engaged or mas parang na-motivate mag-try magluta. They're telling me na useful yung vlog. It really helps them. So yun po yung mas kinaalala namin na part na kung sino-sino na lang pwede magbigay eh. We still really need all the studies to confirm that it works and does not work. Assuming it works, which is why there's high demand. So then, the patient or the consumer would make it like a daily staple. And so perhaps the question is like, what is a safe dose? What is therapeutic range? What is a supplement range? And if it's done for it, you know, something that's done for a consistently at a certain high dose for a long period of time and to be processed inside our bodies, you wonder, will it leave any, any dent, so to speak, later on? But shockingly, Undercover Asia discovers that Lavin's tutorial is not unique on YouTube. Many Filipinos also share their do-it-yourself glutathione injectable treatments, completely oblivious to the health risks. Over the past 10 years, there has been a surge, I would say, uh, in terms of those seeking to help themselves, so to whiten. And unfortunately, because of modern day technology, this IV drips is very glamorous and appealing. And it's also the culture that has evolved, social media, you know, largely with that. Even on your phones, you have these apps that you have a filter and you can look more glamorous. And so, so with this lightening agent also, somehow it's some sort of filter that you can also administer to yourself. And so you would also look more pleasant to your eyes because it is so appealing and maybe the patients no longer think where their health status is at the moment. So, mula noon, kung ikukumpara mo sa Spanish period, yung pag-ambisyon nating magbago ang ating itsura, wala namang pagbabago. Kaya lang ngayon, mas aggressive tayo. Na yung agad-agad, makikita mo yung resulta kinabukasan or sa makalawa. <laughs> A desire for whiter complexion is driving Filipinos to extreme measures. It is a problem with deep-rooted racist undertones, collective cultural mindsets formed by decades of colonial rule. But who will say enough is enough? <laughs>